Sean? Yeah. Okay. Yoga Rocks Box Session 74, Take 1. Hi, welcome to Yoga Rocks Box. My name is David Lurie and I'm a, a guest host today for Helen Revel. Today on the show, I'm very excited to have Helen <laughs> Revel. Helen, as many of you may know, who watch the Yoga Rocks Box, is one of the co-founders and hosts of Yoga Rocks here in Trio Petra, Greece. Welcome to the show, Helen. Thanks. How is it over there? It's fantastic, thank you. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Okay. I mean, like, over there on this oh, side. Oh, on this Maybe. side? Yes, oh. yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, equally, it's quite fun, yeah. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> okay. Which, uh, which leads me into some of my first question. Uh, the interrogation begins. Yeah. Because you yourself are a yoga teacher. Yes. Uh, yet you host, yoga, you host yoga teachers here throughout mm. the year, different teachers of different styles that come with different voices, different approaches, different ways of, of the practice. Um, do you get to take many of the classes? Not so many, unfortunately. It's a little bit like being an alcoholic in a bar. Okay. Because we really don't get so much chance to go to class. But yes. um, we still, I still love absorbing the vibe and yeah, I go as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's still really special being around it. Yes, okay. Because over the over the course of your season here, you, you bring quite a variety of teachers. Do you see a common thread through the teachers that you bring here to Yoga Rocks? Well, I hope so, because that's really what we aim to do, is to like to find this, this yoga vibe. That there, is, there isn't a difference. There shouldn't be a difference. That, that what, what they do is, is different. But the vibe, the yoga vibe, is is the same, um, so we really hope that everyone is the same. Because um, I mean, otherwise, that like we wouldn't saying, want them. <laughs> isn't that like saying strawberries for dessert are very similar to baklava to dessert? It's still dessert, but they're different things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it, it, they do do different things. Yes. But um, yeah, really, you, when you the point is that when you've done the different things, uh -huh. you come out feeling. The same. Okay. Different degrees of the sameness. Like, say, if it's a restorative class, you're going to feel a little bit more smashed than if it's, you know, something upbeat. Yes. But still coming out there with a quiet mind and starting to starting to see stuff, opening up, so you can start to, if you like, so you can start to crack the psyche. So you can uh -huh. really start to. So it, it doesn't matter if it's asana, meditation, pranayama. It, it, it really is just a gate to the same process. But we think that's so important and some people who come are maybe not quite ready for that but but hopefully they start to see glimpses of it just through through just doing whatever practice it is and it starts to starts to open things up especially asana asana is such a gateway it's so it's, it's a physical practice you start to crack bits of the body stuff you might be storing in your body but really you, you to get the most out of what yoga has to offer you Got to go a, a little bit further. Start to just go a little bit subtler than that. So, is, is that something that you look for in the teachers that come to Yoga Rocks? People who are teaching also yoga off the mat or some philosophy? I think if they, it's important that they that, that, that their yoga is working for them. So oh. then they're loving and generous and open and they can start to help people to see how to make positive change in their life that's going to that's gonna really help them, that's going to make them happier, that's going to make the people in the direct circle happier, which then makes the people in their direct circle happier. So it's just a spread, it sounds cheesy, but it's a, it's meant, it's a spread of love, that's the idea. Yes. It's not a, it's not trigger nothing. It's yes. not triangle, yeah, it's yeah. not about. Okay. okay. Yeah, because at the beginning you, you didn't give anything specific, but you said the teachers that come, the common thread would be the yoga vibe. And yes, I, we, I wanted to hear a little more about that. It's so hard to describe. Um, uh, we call it the sparkling essence of yoga, um, which is maybe what you could think. It's that point where it's that point where you. I'm always talking about seeing clearly. I, I, talk, I say it too often, but it's that point of seeing clearly when you start to see why you do what you do when then you start to see it in others everything just starts to open up and then you behave you you behave better you behave i'm quite a, quite good at bad behavior but you you start to see your bad behavior 
you start to see where you behave unnecessarily, where you dive in too soon, where you stand back too late. Yeah. You, you, you start to be able to allow things to unfold almost as they should be, to this acceptance of just letting things just happen, yeah, without interfering too much. Okay. Like in interviewing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm learning this because uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to cut you off five times and ask you questions, <laughs> so I'm also practicing a lot. Um, uh, that's interesting because you even said my theme for the week here, uh, that why you do what you do, why we do what we do is the... the theme of this week's retreat. Why do you invite people to this place year after year after year? For the teachers or the guests? <laughs> Let's go teachers first. Okay, well I suppose we need the teachers so, <laughs> so they can teach the guests. Yes. It's a, it's a total pleasure having such amazing people here every week. Every, uh -huh. we, we're very fickle because every week we, we in the nicest way, David, we'll be happy to let you go because we've got Maria coming next yes, week. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's very exciting. Yeah. And it and it's always the big question is what are we doing? And sometimes you're like, what are we doing? You hope that the idea is not to, to I mean, you hope everyone has a nice holiday, but it's not really the idea. The idea is to, to introduce this deeper practice of a, a deeper yoga, and hopefully, in the end, it, it's, it starts to spread people people's lives change, and in turn, they help other people's lives change. So treat their partners better, they treat their children better, they, they change their jobs because it wasn't working for them so they're happier, they maybe move into something that actually might start to affect other people's lives in a positive way. So, it, so this expanding circles. This is the idea, I mean you can, you can, you can see that people, you know, some people would say it's just a yoga holiday, it's just a yoga retreat. It, yeah. I, I hope that it, I hope there is some kind of knock-on effect. I'm, I'm certain there is, being on the side of the teacher and hearing and interacting with the students for, for sure. Um, why do you sing? <laughs> um, yeah, I like singing. Um, yeah, it's, it's, what do you like about it? It's in my family. My family sings so that okay. everyone always sings. My dad sings scales walking through. What are they called when you go under a road? Uh, under Tunnels. The house. Yeah, under the house. my yes. dad likes to sing scales when he's walking yes. through there to test the acoustics. But, uh -huh. um, but on a but on a different label, it's a having come back to it, if you like, and come round again to singing. Yeah, that's a it's a really nice way of finding finding the yoga by finding the clear space. Okay. Massively successful, very practical way of clearing your mind. Yeah. Okay, because uh, a few nights ago we were singing mantras and Helen came as a guest to, to the mantra singing night and, and with the harmonium, we did a wonderful job singing mantras. Um, tell us a little bit about the experience of, of kind of waiting in the wings <laughs> just before I called you up to join us. Well, I was... And be honest. I was, I was quite nervous, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't have... I didn't know if you'd seen me or not, you see, I was kind of, kind of snuck in with the harmonium, put it in the shadows, I was kind of hoping you hadn't seen me, but at the same time, I really wanted to play because because I love I love playing them. Yeah, yes. like, yeah, love kirtan. It's so great. So yeah, so it was that, and, it, and again, it's an ego. So then you start to so it's, this is the yoga thing again. Is seeing clearly, it's about seeing that that's such a, that's such an ego thing. You know, you're like scared of messing up, but at the same time, you want to do really well, and that's yeah. what you're trying in the yoga. You're trying to, to find that middle way where you're not in that like it's, it's so unnecessary. Yeah, it's interesting because um, the the ego side tables turned on me is like, I want to be in the center of attention. So my ego says, you better call on me and let me go up <laughs> in the front there, rather than, than hiding in the back. So uh, that's, what advice would you have for, for someone who's a little nervous to start singing or chanting in front of people? Oh, totally, just do it. It's, it's totally terrifying. Um, and, and for some people more than others, but, and you can sometimes you get a bit shaky or and like yeah it doesn't go right or you, you say something wrong or yeah for everyone the challenges are different. Some people find the the banter hard. Some people find the actual singing hard. Some people like playing the harmonium and it's new to them. They're going to mess up on the notes. But yeah, you totally just have to go for it. It's like like teaching yoga for example. If you you're going to start teaching you everybody gets nervous teachers coming here didn't teach him forever they still get nervous just got to just got to go for it and this is again it's the ego you've got to see 
that you, you, you're scared of making a fool of yourself and it just doesn't matter. So you, when you start to see that, you can kind of get over yourself. But yeah, without judging yourself. Yeah. So this is a difficult thing. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, a, it's a fine line. Mm. Uh, which is an interesting segue into the, the last topic that I wanted to bring up with you. We have time for one more. Yeah. Um, something that's commonly referred to these days as modern postural yoga that alignment-based practices that come with a fairly dogmatic perspective on poses should be done this way, um, and even to the extent of right and wrong ways of, of practicing. Um, in your evolution as a practitioner and as a teacher, how do you see this fitting into yoga as a whole? The, the aspect of alignment fitting students and uh, kind of, in my perspective, missing a little bit of, of the point of, of, of personal practice. Yeah, um, really the, there is correct alignment, if you like, to a certain extent, but then that depends which tradition you're working from. There is alignment that makes you stretch more, that gets you deeper into the pose, but, and it's nice to work with that, just yeah. to, to play, to play with, with the sensations and where you are in the pose, but, but because there's such contradictions, there can't be, there can't be a right or wrong, you know? It's gotta be just what you're doing that day, what you're doing with who that day. Yeah. It's also beautiful, and I really, I can really practice any, any kind of yoga and it takes me to the same space, it just doesn't matter, it's, it's interesting to work, and you learn so much from the contradictions, that's where you learn, like yes. people come to me and they're like, oh so and so told me this and you're doing this, and I'm like, well why are we doing that, and that's when you start to learn, and then you can decide for yourself, it's kind of polite when you're in a teacher's class to follow what they're saying if you're not going to hurt yourself, it's kind of polite. Yes, yeah, I, I always say that the sign of a good teacher is a great student. That when, when I go to classes, even when there are things that are are things that I, I wouldn't necessarily agree with, I want to be a good student and respectful this way. Yeah, well. and then you might be, but you might be like, oh, are you sure? And then you try it, and you're like, oh, yeah, actually that works for you know different reasons. Yeah. Or, yeah. or you might be like, I'm not sure. But so that's where do you see today. your your practice going? My practice. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of. Yeah, I don't know, at the moment I've been just kind of waves about a bit, so um, yes. yeah, I've, I've crushes on, I had a crush on jumping back to Chaturanga, that's never happened before, someone told me a nice little little way of doing it, I was like, cool, and then, so I had a crush on that for a few weeks, and now I'm into playing the harmonium, so I've been doing that, and yes. I'm okay. trying to get the pranayama in, yeah. So yeah, and then through the pranayama you find yourself sitting, which is so beautiful. Uh -huh. So yeah, just allowing yourself to wander, but without having an eye on what you're actually doing. So yeah, just slowly everything starts to Unfold get a bit more subtle. Yeah. Subtle, okay. I think subtle. I think you're looking for subtlety really, mm -hmm. eventually. You're looking for subtlety, but it, it comes through the different ways. I mean, different disciplines, if you like. So you've got your asana, pranayama, meditation, chanting, lot other things. Yeah. So through them slowly, you're working with them all. You're kind of moving, moving to a subtlety. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully that's going to happen slowly, slowly, slowly. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the rock spots. <laughs> um, Helen will be here at the Yoga Rocks teaching a retreat. At some point in 2017 and in 2018 and 19 and 20, 21, <laughs> 22, 23, 24, and 25, please come in and enjoy her company. She's an absolute delight to be around and her family, and they're happy to welcome you to Yoga Rocks. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <David. laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bye.